Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my tips and strategies. And in this game, we're actually going to kind of look at uh, a, a few mistakes that some people make. Um, one guy in particular who, I to me, it's a mistake. I understand kind of what he was thinking, but at the end of the day, um, I, to me, it's a mistake. And if he doesn't sort of make the mistake I think he makes, uh, he probably, I think, would have won the game. I, I, I think he would have because he was a really good player. Uh, getting a, a, a ton of people down. So we're going to go ahead and um, set it to two times. Uh, we're going to fast forward quite a bit through this game to get to the to the midpoint. Um, basically, where ever since the update, um, with all the new buildings that are kind of all over the map now, I like the map so much more. Um, I've been consistently kind of jumping down into uh, this area south of Impala. Uh, I like to hit these warehouses, and then from here, I kind of have a, a, a bunch of places that I can kind of go, um, whether it's north, whether it's south, uh, west. Um, I just kind of like jumping down here, so uh, I usually jump into places that I enjoy being, and I'll do it for a while, and then I'll, I'll pick somewhere else to go. So... I really do not run into anybody uh, through most of this game until the end. Uh, it's not uncommon for my play style. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I really just don't see anybody. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward. Uh, we'll do it to right here. Because uh, I want to look at one guy that... Um, uh, let's see. Let's find... There he is. Uh I'm assuming you say his name is Turnads. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, that's the guy's name. So, um, this guy played a really, really good game. Um, he was taking out people left and right. This guy was a really, really good shot. Um, he's getting into engagements and coming out on the winning side almost every single time until he runs into me and I think the only reason that I'm able to get this guy down is uh, well, well what we'll do is we'll we'll end up seeing that uh, basically uh, near the end of the game and I think if something sort of inadvertent doesn't happen um, he probably gets me down and uh, we'll look at that so uh, what this guy ends up doing he ends up taking out uh, what, what's this guy's name Chin Lee or something, Jim Lily, however you say it. Uh, so he gets into a fight right here. Uh, he actually hears Turnads over here on the side, so he's looking for him. And um, what ends up happening is uh, Turnads ends up peeking around the corner with the car 98, sees the guy, lines up his shot, and he's able to get him down. Uh, now, what had actually happened, there was a guy that was right over here who also saw Jim Lily, and uh, he took a shot as well. So, uh, these two don't actually engage uh, at that point, um, but basically, you know, that guy goes down, Turnads raids him, and then um, moves up. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of fast forward here, let's kind of look at where the map is. You can see that I am over here. I've made my way into these buildings. There's nobody around me at this point. Uh, gassed up had actually just taken out uh, a guy that was right over here. I knew he was over there close to me somewhat, but uh, I couldn't see him. Now, at the time, I had a UMP. Oh, I hate the red zone. Golly, Blue Hole, would you please get rid of the red zone? It adds nothing to the game. It's just so annoying. Oh, is it annoying? Seriously, just... Oh, golly, please end the red zone. Nobody cares. For, it's just so dumb. All right, that's enough ranting and raving about the red zone. And it starts right up again here in a minute, but uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of move down here. So I've got an SKS with a 4-scope, uh, extended mag, got a level 2 helmet, level 2 vest, um... Uh, and my automatic weapon that I had was a UMP. So I, that's what I have the entire game. But now that they've changed the uh, SMGs and upped them, um, they're so much more enjoyable to actually have in the game. So, uh, again, we're just going to kind of fast forward here uh, a little bit. Yeah, there's the stupid red zone. Let's get past it so I don't have to listen to it. Oh, golly, there's another one. <laughs> 
Golly, it's so annoying. <laughs> please, please get rid of it. Okay, so we're going to get up to here. And what I end up doing, trying to make the next circle, I run up to here. And again, there's really nobody around me at this point. Uh, we got a mean machine over here in these in uh, Minas General. Uh, we've got HU Soldier who's over here. Now, when I was positioned up here, uh, I was positive that there was somebody down here. And sure enough, there is. Now, I had seen this guy, but I didn't take any shots because I knew there was no way I was going to get him down at the range that I was at with the four scope. He had too much cover. But what I did notice was that there was a motorcycle down here, and I knew at this point that there was a minute, 30 seconds to go. I had a huge distance to travel, and I was going to have to get into uh, that vehicle, which I hate getting into vehicles to begin with, but let alone a motorcycle, because I can't even tell you how many times I've killed myself on a motorcycle, especially being off-road. Uh, so I get to the motorcycle, and I'm actually able to not kill myself. And I make my way up into San Martin and I get into these buildings and I'm kind of lucky that I pick some buildings just randomly that there's nobody in and there's nobody really right by me so I don't take any fire. So we're going to end up looking at uh, a mistake uh, that two people end up making uh, in regards to the blue zone. Now... We're going to go ahead and kind of just move over into this area. And here's what I want to say that I've said plenty of times before in regards to uh, the circles, etc., uh, etc. Et when you are getting to the end of the game, guys, you have to move to the circle. The way that I play, every single time that the circle hits and the new circle basically forms... The, the, the moment it happens, I pull up my map and I will right click and I will set a marker because I know like, okay, I've got to judge that distance. How far is it? Can I run to it? Uh, do I have to get into a vehicle? And wherever it is that I'm going, where do I think is going to be the best place for me to basically get to if I'm in a vehicle where I'm not going to run into anybody? At the end of the day, this time, you can see me traveling along here. Um, what I know is it doesn't really make a difference at this point. Um, what I don't want to do is be out in the open if I'm on a motorcycle or in a vehicle. Um, what I need to do is to get into San Martin, and I'm going to have to just get into a building because I need cover because I'm giving away my position for free. Everyone can hear me coming. I'm going to end up taking shots and I've got to get off of the vehicle, get into a building immediately. So that's what I end up doing and you can kind of see where I'm at. I jump into this building right here. So what we're going to look at as far as mistakes go is this guy right over here, Daji Dali. And I, this guy ends up taking out a few people. He's taking some shots right here. Uh, HU Soldier, who we saw earlier, is coming up uh, in this vehicle. Um, Daji ends up taking some shots at him. Doesn't get him down. Uh, and then what Daji does is he actually moves up this hill. And we're going to go ahead and set it to two times. And he moves up the hill and he ends up taking out two guys really quickly. Uh, sort of back to back. Takes them out here's the problem okay circle just hit boom he gets that guy down that guy comes down the hill boom he takes him down takes out Ragnarok there's another guy that's right up here Milju and uh, it looks like they're going to encounter one another but they actually don't they don't see one another so look at the distance look at where this guy is look at the distance there's 15 people left this is near the end of the game you're going to take too much damage from the blue zone. He has got to get to the circle. He's got to go, and he's got to go now. He does not. He ends up, and I, I, I just don't know what was kind of going through his head at this point. He's actually rushing in the opposite direction, looking for people who were going to be coming in late to the circle. This guy is looking for a vehicle, I think, and at the end of the day, does find it. Uh, long story short, 
dies to the blue zone. And guys, I can't stress enough. Near the end of the game, you ha- I mean, it's your number one priority. Uh, it is your number one priority. You've got to go. And that guy does not. Now, we're going to look at what... I don't want to say that this is a mistake uh, inherently. But I think in regards to the circle... I think you're so much better off in sort of not moving into the circle until it's sort of the right time. Now, what HU Soldier does is he runs down into these buildings and then he goes ahead and makes a beeline to get into the circle. Now, there's two minutes to go at this point. The, the problem with getting into the circle too early is that you are going to have people in every single direction you're basically going to have to kind of look in eight different directions. The problem with that is you don't know where all that fire is going to come from. When you move into the circle later, and we're going to see, again, kind of a mistake uh, here in a minute um, uh, that Turnads actually uh, makes in regards to what I think uh, he makes a mistake in regards to the circle. No, he's up here. Um... What ends up happening right here is Turnads had just taken out Mean Machine. He had a really nice shot uh, and takes him out with a headshot. Um, Turnads is up here. Has he made it yet? Yeah, he makes it. He's taking damage from the blue zone, but he's good. Uh, he makes it. He heals up. Now, HU Soldier, this guy goes ahead and moves up. And what ends up happening is Turnads ends up taking him out uh, with a headshot. So just so you can kind of see where I'm at at the moment. Uh, I've made it to the blue zone, and eh, we got to wait for the plane to go over. It's so loud. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, let's set it back down. Let's look at uh, Trinat's point of view. So, HU Soldier ends up moving up to the top of this hill. Turnads ends up moving over to this side. He puts himself in a really good position. I actually just took a shot at Harry Wart. <laughs> Love the name. Uh, over in these buildings uh, over on the side. So I don't take multiple shots. I, I kind of just took one shot because it was a sort of a moment of opportunity. Uh, so here's HU up on to the top of this uh, ledge up here. Takes a pretty nasty shot. Doesn't go down. Uh, he's using a silencer, so the guy doesn't know exactly where the shot came from. And boom, right there he goes down. So I hope that kind of makes sense with what I'm saying about if you move into the circle too early, you've got so many people who are going to be kind of looking in every single direction. Okay, so what I have now done at this point, where I was positioned over here, at about the 50 to 55 second mark, what I had done is I had looked at where the circle was. I knew where I needed to get to. Of all the things in the game that I would say I probably do the best, uh, which I don't know how many people would say like, yeah, that's a really good thing to be good at, but it's the one thing I think I'm able to do well is to, to judge and base where I'm at, where the next circle is, and the, the time and the amount uh, um, of distance that I've got to travel and when I need to start moving. I know that I've got a big distance to basically go here. I start to move and I start to move down this side of the hill. I want to avoid this valley over here because I don't know if there's anybody in these buildings. I don't want to be visible to people over here on this side who are coming in from this angle. And I wasn't 100% sure if there was somebody over here or not. But when I hear the shots ring out uh, where HU goes down, that's when I know, like, okay, there is somebody over here. So what I end up doing is actually, at this point, I move over and I'm down kind of out of the way. So what I'm doing now is I keep looking to my right because I'm looking for the person that was taking the shots. And so here's what I know. I know that I'm going to end up getting into a fight. I'm going to have to get into a fight with whoever is over here because whoever is over here, they're going to be coming. Now there's 11 seconds left. 
Turnets has not moved yet. He's staying where he's at. And this is why I say I think it's a mistake. The other person to kind of point out, look, this guy right down here, Menorsen, I just want to look at him real quick. This guy is wearing a ghillie suit. He's got good weapons, and this guy is not going to make it. Uh, he does not make the circle. He dies to the blue zone. So this is just somebody else who is sort of wasting too much time and not advancing to where he needs to be. And again, guys, this is a mistake that I've made a million times in the past. I'm not dogging anybody like, you know, you morons are stupid, et cetera, et cetera. If I'm going to say that about anybody, I'm going to say it about myself because I've made this mistake so many countless times until I really kind of learned not to make that mistake. So I'm not dogging anybody, uh, for doing something that I haven't done. I, age, I've done it so many times. Okay, so the final thing to kind of look at here with Ternads is as this guy, I keep saying his name and I just kind of laugh, but um, I am moving up here. I think this guy would have gotten me down if he had taken off running right here. We're going to look at it from his point of view, and I think the only reason that this guy does not get me down, because he's a really good shot, the only reason he doesn't get me down, because he doesn't see me, is because... No, that's not him. Well, where the heck... Is uh, the blue zone hits him, and it kind of causes that wavy look, and it kind of disrupts his shot. So he's running up. You can see me at the top of the hill up there. This guy's got a book it. I see him. I start taking the shots because I knew someone was over there. And I'm able to get him down. This guy played a really good game. And he ends up sort of paying the price right there for not moving earlier. Um, last guy right there, my Norrison, taking too much damage. Somebody actually sees him and takes a shot. And it's... I think they took a sh yeah they took a shot at him. Tries to heal up and guys it's too late. Um, boom 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 goes down. All right, so we are now down to four people. Now at this point, um, I thought that I was in a really good position. I see where the next circle is, and I know that where it is that I want to go to is basically right into here. Now where I was, I knew that I had a lot of cover. So where I'm at, I actually move up and raid and uh, loot uh, HU's uh, stuff right there. I picked up another grip and I think some uh, painkillers or energy drinks, something. So uh, Stressel ends up getting taken out by Harry Wart here. Uh, uh, Wart moves along and then he lays down and uh, Stressel probably should have gotten him down. And he just doesn't. So, um, not really a mistake. I don't know if he just basically didn't expect someone to be laying down right there. But uh, he doesn't get him down. Wart gets him down. Now, when that happens, I hear those shots. So, now I know where one person is. So, I don't know where the other person is. But, you know, okay. Now I know that one guy is really close to me. Then I hear those shots ring out. So, now I know that I can tell that... The last guy, Calvini, is over on the other side of the circle. So now I know where both guys are. So I start moving up uh, to get into the next circle, and I'm kind of looking in every direction. You know, I'm looking for where these guys are. And I don't know where the last guy, Calvini, moves to, but when I looked at my map, what kind of made sense to me was that he was going to move down into those buildings, and that's exactly what he did. The last guy is Harry Wart. He's up here with me. Takes a little bit of damage right there, but not much. And what ends up happening is Calvini takes a shot at uh, Harry over here. And when I hear that, I end up like starting to move because I'm thinking, okay, well, these two guys see one another. They're going to start fighting. Turns out uh, Calvini takes the shot, but Harry ends up moving over towards me. And actually starts taking shots at me. Which I didn't expect. So I kind of react real quick. Um, and if he didn't have his sniper rifle up. I think he probably would have gotten me down immediately. Uh, but he doesn't. 
so he does he hits me twice and I take damage but it's just not enough to get me down so he's taking those shots I, I start moving looking and you know I react to it move down this guy now moves up and he's shooting into the bushes I pop up kind of get out of the way and it is kind of important for what just happened okay so final mistake and I do think this is a mistake some people might disagree with this but to me it's a mistake so you just saw what happened you know where these gunshots are and the last guy is down in those buildings not anymore this guy Calvini is down here he had just taken a shot um, at Harry Wart he hears these shots he now knows that it's heads up and what this guy does is he starts moving up this hill this guy moves out of the circle he moves out of the buildings out of the position that he was in and starts running up this hill what ends up happening is I don't know that that is what this guy is doing the only thing that was running through my head at this point was I'm in a ton of trouble because I know where this last circle is. I'm not really going to have any cover at all, and this guy's going to be down in these buildings. And that's not what happened. In fact, all of a sudden, shots start to ring out. And we're going to kind of look at it from um, this top down view and then from Calvini's point of view. So. I am looking down into these buildings. Now, I cannot see Calvini at this point. Uh, I'm looking over here, but I am looking. I'm looking. Shots are not ringing out, and I'm amazed at this point. The shots are not ringing out. And I am trying to get to this rock because it's the only cover that I can basically get to at this point. And I'm positive that this guy has to be right down here. All of a sudden, I hear shots ring out, and I realize that guy is not in the building. What this guy is actually doing is over to my... Uh, I didn't realize he was even on my right at this point. I'm hearing these shots. I run in front. I hear more shots, and I'm saying to myself... <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, like, man, where is this guy? Because I know he's not in the buildings, and I run behind the rock, and then I run in front of the rock, because I'm like, my gosh, is he over here? Is he by this tree? And all of a sudden, I realize where he's at. Uh, he had done some damage, but not enough. And so what I do is I lean out. I see where this guy is. I'm hitting him, doing damage. He's just hitting the rock in front of me and I'm able to get this guy down. The moment that I basically saw this guy and where he was, I basically knew that I just won the game. Now it's always possible he gets me down, possibly gets a headshot, but I realize at this point, uh, even if this guy's got an AR, um, if he's kind of firing ran, you know, randomly or he's just taking a, a, you know, auto fire, um, I'm at a good enough distance. I've got enough cover that uh, a lot of these bullets are not going to hit me. In fact, he didn't hit me at all there uh, with the UMP there at the end. But that's just basically like, okay, I got this. You know, I'm th this guy is basically done. So my whole point in saying this is a mistake is, guys, play the game however it is you want to play. But I think that there's moments where you should rush and there's moments when you shouldn't. This guy has got, look at this vantage point that he's got. He knows that if he had stayed in this circle, I mean, there's a minute to go, so you can see where the circle was. This guy is going to be able to have sort of open range shots on me. I have no cover. I can't really get to cover unless I move down into those trees, but that's not even going to be in the next circle. This guy gave up his position when he really shouldn't have, and he sort of pays the price for it. So... Again, this is not a mistake either that I haven't made so many times in the past. In fact, I, I just put up a video not too long ago where I showed two games in a row where I rushed somebody at the very end of the game and I paid the price for it. So 
at the end of the day, guys, I'm not dogging them. It's a mistake that I've made. And some people just might disagree and say, like, yeah, he did a really good job in trying to end the game by moving up into an area where I didn't think that he would be. Problem is, he's got to move up that hill. There's no real cover. Even if we had seen each other up there, you know, I still might have gotten him down when he had sort of all the advantage and he gave that advantage up. So, all guys. Well, that is this game. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you next time. See ya.